In 1922, psychiatrist Carl Jung built a small castle in the Swiss countryside, calling it The Tower. He would retreat there for months at a time and do nothing but write, meditate, and walk through nature. Throughout history, many influential writers would do the same thing. Isolate themselves for an extended period of time to achieve a deep level of focus that would allow them to produce incredible works. But in the modern day, distractions are endless. What can we do to practice this level of deep work? And are there any tools that can help us stay focused and avoid distractions for a greater period of time? Hey guys, my name is Amon. Today we're going to talk about how you can stay focused while writing using Ulysses, my personal choice for the best writing experience in any app. This video is the second part of my productivity workflow series where I teach you how I go from idea to completed product and what tools or apps I use to take me along the way. Timestamps are in the description, let's begin. When Jung was doing nothing but writing in isolation in the Swiss countryside, he was performing something called deep work. According to Cal Newport, Georgetown professor of computer science and author of Deep Work, Deep work consists of professional activities performed in a state of distraction-free concentration that push your cognitive capabilities to their limit. These efforts create new value, improve your skill, and are hard to replicate. Basically, anytime you perform a difficult task in a deeply focused state without any distractions, you're performing deep work. According to Newport, his best students don't spend any more time studying than the rest of them. They actually spend less time preparing, on average. What differentiates them is their level of concentration, their unique ability to stay deeply focused in the time that they actually do study. In other words, it's their ability to perform deep work which separates them from the rest. Deep work is also extremely useful for writing. When I write, I usually do so for extended periods of time. I don't usually like to chop up my writing sessions over a few days. I find it so much more productive just to sit down and get the whole thing done in one sitting. This is because I usually take 10 minutes to ease into the writing process. I almost never produce my best work immediately. If I were to write in 20 to 25 minute sessions, there would really only be 5 to 10 minutes of optimal writing time. It just makes sense to sit down and do it over long stretches of time. One of the key aspects of performing deep work is reducing distraction. If we want to stay focused while writing, we need to find some sort of writing application which encourages staying immersed in the writing experience through reducing as many distractions as possible. Enter Ulysses. It's an extremely powerful writing software with a minimalistic and distraction-free design which encourages deep work and long periods of immersive focus. Ulysses is a dedicated writing app that totally changes the writing process. Whenever you write in more traditional mediums like Word or Google Docs, a portion of your focus is dedicated to the formatting. This is not the case with Ulysses. It's entirely content-driven, using an enhanced plain text system. I'll talk about this a little bit more later on. Ulysses serves a very specific purpose in my productivity arsenal. Basically, I only use it for long-form published writing. This means that I only write my newsletters and articles in it. I don't take notes in it, I don't take scripts in it, I don't store any messy stuff in it. Ulysses is a very formal, clean software that I only reserve for my best publishable writing, not just anything. So if we think about my workflow, first I always start out with an idea. You can watch my last video if you want to know more about how I come up with those. Then if that idea is for an article or newsletter, when I actually get around to focusing on it, I will write it and store it long term in Ulysses. I just find Ulysses so much better for that long form writing use case than any other application. If you open up Ulysses for the first time, you'll see something like this. We start out with the library, which is the highest level structure in Ulysses, which is on the left. Then we have the sheet list over here in the middle. That's where all of your sheets are stored, more of those later. Finally, we have the editor, which takes up most of the viewing space. The editor is where you'll do all of your writing and editing. If you press command three like this, it will hide everything and just show the editor. Likewise, you can press command one and two to show the other windows. Let's talk about the library. The library is where you can create and organize the highest level structure in Ulysses, which is a group. You can see over here how I have books, articles, and Thoughtful Thursday. In short, groups hold multiple sheets together. So if I wanted to create a structure to hold all of my newsletters, I would probably create a group called Newsletter. If you open a group, you can see multiple sheets in the sheet list over here. A sheet is the style of document that Ulysses uses. Basically, you create a sheet for every article, essay, or paper you are writing. 
You can easily create a new sheet like this by going up to the top, clicking File, New Sheet, or the shortcut for that is Command N like this. Notice how it's created a new sheet. Sheets aren't traditional documents in that they don't look like physical pieces of paper. You aren't confined to the bounds and formatting of those. It's very content driven, meaning that you can write as far down as you want without any page breaks. So if we scroll down on this newsletter, notice how there's no page breaks. If you were writing a book in Ulysses, you'd probably create a group for that book and then each sheet would be a chapter for that book. Within those sheets, you can also create subdivisions for sections of those sheets. I won't get into these advanced features, but just know that there's a lot that you can do with Ulysses. Ulysses is special because it separates the formatting from the writing. Basically, when you write in Ulysses, you'll never have to worry about design or the formatting as you're creating. This keeps you focused in rather than trying to do multiple things at once. Markdown is a style of text editing that Ulysses uses. Basically, it assigns specific text which defines the formatting as you're writing. It sounds kind of complicated, but I'll show you exactly how it works. Basically, instead of doing the bold thing in Word or Google Docs where you have to highlight it and click bold, all I have to do is encase a word with double asterisks to bold it. As you can see right here, I've done that with Hello World. If we remove them, notice how it's gone back to normal now. If you want to italicize something, all you have to do is encase it with an underscores like this. If you want to create different headings, all you have to do is start it off with the number sign. This keeps you totally immersed in the writing experience, allowing you to focus on the content and nothing else. Markdown is really easy to get used to. There are many more key combinations which you can easily find in the Ulysses documents and help menu. Over time, you'll pick them up pretty quickly. So why is Ulysses better than the alternatives? Well, if you ask someone to write something, they probably immediately look to Microsoft Word or Google Docs. So let's take a look at those and compare them to Ulysses. First, let's take a look at storage. Ulysses uses something called a hybrid storage system. Ulysses automatically uses iCloud to sync and store your sheets. Everything is safe and secure out of the box, and you can easily access it on any device without any additional effort. Everything is still stored on your physical device, meaning that if you don't have internet or you're on the go, you can still access everything you have and use all the same features. With Word, you're storing all of your documents as physical files and some sort of file structure that you have to create yourself. First of all, this is purely local, meaning that unless you're using some sort of additional cloud structure, if your computer dies, you basically lose everything, all of the writing that you've done. Even with Google Drive, it's only cloud-based and it's not only made for documents meaning that you have to create folders and then folders and then folders to organize and store everything yourself. This is a lot of upfront work and doesn't really immerse you in the writing experience. So I've opened Google Drive and I'm immediately hit with a thousand files and a thousand random documents. It's incredibly messy and disorganized. That is my fault. I mean, I was the one who didn't organize it, but still look at how beautiful Ulysses is right out of the box. Also because Google Drive is entirely web-based, if you're on the go and if you don't have internet, you literally can't access any of your files or edit any of your documents. So if you're on the go, you're completely out of luck. So we've opened a Google Doc and notice how you were immediately lambasted with a thousand different options and toggles and colors and features right at the top. I mean, when you're writing, you don't really need any of that stuff until you get to the formatting. If we move over to Ulysses, notice how it's literally nothing but a blank white page. If I start typing in Google Docs, I immediately start to think, oh wait, I really don't like this font. Now let's spend 10 minutes formatting, picking the font, organizing everything. With Ulysses, there's just one font. You immediately get into the writing process. The key difference between Ulysses and other writing systems is the separation between content and formatting. When you're writing a Google document, the first thing you're going to do is probably formatting. You'll probably also continue formatting while you're writing as well. Your brain is always better at doing one thing at a time, and the process of switching back and forth between formatting and creating can really affect your progress. When you write in Ulysses, you're probably in the editor just like this. You see absolutely nothing except for your text and your writing. You are totally absorbed in the process. Markdown immerses you even more. If I want to bold or italicize something, my eyes don't need to look up and see this barrage of different toggles. All I do is calmly type bold and that's it. Now you might say, yeah, okay, Ulysses is better for writing, but it can't do any of these complex formatting or colors. And you'd be wrong because Ulysses has an incredibly powerful exporting feature. I'm in my most recent newsletter and if we go over here, we click the export button, there's a ton of different features to pick from. My favorite is the quick export PDF columns. So let's click that and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. So I've gone ahead and exported it and look how great it looks. 
it's so readable right now, and this would take at least 10 to 15 minutes to set up in Microsoft Word. And Ulysses does it automatically. There are so many custom features and options that you can choose after you finish writing with Ulysses to pick the perfect export template. In conclusion, Ulysses is by far my favorite writing application. It has seamless iCloud integration, fluid keyboard shortcuts, a beautiful interface, interactive markdown style text, and is engineered to help you focus for long periods of time. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video.